Now to calculate uh, completion time or uh, waiting time, we are having, uh, as I discussed in the previous tutorial, we are having formulas for calculation of uh, turnaround time and waiting time. Okay. Now first of all, we'll calculate completion time. Very first thing we have to calculate completion time. Okay. Why? Because in calculation of turnaround time, we require completion time because turnaround time is nothing but completion time minus arrival time. Okay. And for calculation of waiting time, we require turnaround time minus burst time. Okay. So completion time of P1 process is 30 milliseconds because at this instant P1 process completely executed. Then for P2 process, we are having 7 and P3 process, we are having 10 completion time. Okay. Now turnaround time is nothing but completion time minus arrival time. Okay. In this example, we have considered arrival time for all processes 0. Okay. So we are considering arrival time 0. So turnaround time will be same as completion time because we are not having any arrival time okay and what is waiting time it is nothing but arrival time sorry turnaround time minus burst time okay so 30 minus 24 6 7 minus 3 4 and 10 minus 3 7 so this is waiting time 